All right, we're recording. Okay, here we go. I'm chatting with Carrie Stratton Waltz today, who teaches watercolor painting at the Dunedin Fine Arts Center. So, Carrie, if you could tell us, um, why did you decide to become a teacher? Well, I was actually a trained teacher from my very first um, uh, bachelor's degree back in way in the 70s. So I'm a trained teacher. I actually taught physical education. And then I took art classes and got very excited about art. <laughs> and I went back for my master's degree in adult education. So I actually have a master's degree in adult education. And my passion is really teaching no matter what it is. <laughs> but I love art. And so art is definitely something that is not only fun, but enlightening. And it's calming. <laughs> and it's a nice place to go sometimes. Yeah. So how long have you been teaching at DFAC? I've been teaching there five years now. This is actually my fifth year. Oh, okay. um, and, and I love it. I think it's a wonderful facility. And, you know, I just love coming there. I do too. <laughs> so do you have um, some examples of your work you could show us? Sure. Uh, I mostly um, paint landscapes. However, I paint everything from abstract to um, realism, just depending. So here is one of my sand dune paintings, which is a lot of people like my sand dunes. So we mm -hmm. paint a lot of sand dunes and landscapes. But um, I design my classes. I also paint a lot of buildings. So here's an example of some buildings that are a little bit, uh, you know, out of the ordinary kind of thing. But I also paint flowers, people in, in the landscapes. And what I do is I actually, um, in my classes, I give them a wish list at the beginning of class and I actually design the six weeks according to the people that are in it. And so they have a chance to tell me what subject matter or techniques that they're particularly interested in. And then I focus the six weeks on that. Oh, that's really great. Um, so you you teach a beginner's class. Um, do stu students need to have drawing or painting skills to take the beginner's watercolor class? No, not at all. I know it says so in the description. That hasn't been changed for a few years. But um, no, I find that sometimes it's better if they don't have any experience. And the reason for that is if they've taken a lot of other media, um, they get hung up on the other media. I've also painted in oils uh, and pastels. So I understand the transition from acrylics to watercolor is sometimes difficult because it's a reverse, um, a, a reverse way of working. Mm -hmm. um, so no, I don't think they really need any skills at all. They just need a desire and they need to be open. Yes, okay. <laughs> um, you also teach a, a one-day um, introduction to watercolors workshop. Correct. Um, do students need to bring supplies to that? No, that's the one that you actually supply the supplies, right? Yes. So Dun <laughs> Dunedin, Dunedin is uh, very gracious in supplying those beginner supplies, which is a great way to get introduced. And we always do a finished painting. So we do a finished painting in that class, and you go home with a painting, and you don't have to put anything into your supplies, which I think is a wonderful experience. So I've had a lot of people that really love that. That's good. It's a good way to, to try it out and see if, see if they like watercolors. Definitely. And I've gotten a lot of students from that. So. Mm -hmm. um, so what kinds of techniques are you teaching in your intermediate class? Well, the intermediate class is really just an extension really of any kind of painting. So we go a little bit further in depth in color theory and a little bit more in depth on different types of watercolor techniques that are um, possibly um, pouring in layers and, and just more advanced techniques than the regular beginner techniques would be. It's kind of hard to describe. <laughs> watercolor, watercolor is a little different from the oils and acrylics, I think. Uh, in the fact that there's so many ways to work in watercolor, I think that's what excites me about watercolor. There's not just one process. There's mm -hmm. so many different processes and it takes time to learn some of that, so. Yeah, so some people might think that watercolor is difficult. Do you think that anyone can learn how to paint with watercolors? I've seen people that have no talent paint good watercolors. 
Ah. So I, I've been teach. I had my own gallery for 28 years, and I taught children and adults uh, during that time too before I came here. And so I've had people with absolutely no talent, and they've ended up learning it. I, it's a learned experience. You can learn. Um, but there again, you have to be open. You have to be willing and open, and you have to try. Yes, you have to put some work in. <laughs> exactly, and practice. You know, no, none of us have enough time to practice. <laughs> okay, so besides learning painting techniques, um, have you noticed any other benefits of coming to art classes with your students? Oh, I've had multiple people tell me uh, time just disappears. Mm -hmm. The time goes so quickly and um, they're sad that it's over. And then I've also had people tell me that it's the only time during the whole week that they feel at peace mm -hmm. and they're relaxed. And so I know that there are a lot of other benefits. Plus with the pandemic going on, it's something that you can do to get it to the right side of your brain, you know, to relax and just um, escape a little bit <laughs> and have fun. You know, I think we need to have more fun. Yes, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you say to someone who is um, hesitant to sign up for a class? I would say go for it. You know, you don't, you don't know till you try. I would say, sign up, try it out. All right. Um, have so, fun. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> so if students are interested, um, we have a link below this video and you can see Carrie's classes and her workshops. Um, you can read the descriptions and you can sign up. So Carrie, thank you so much for taking some time to talk with me today and show us your paintings. Okay, thank you so much, Sarah. I really appreciate all that you do. Oh, thank you. We'll see you soon. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye.